Hi, I'm Mike, and today is part two of fixing a water softener. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. So part of maintaining your water softener is cleaning. Uh, that's cleaning out the venturi and the nozzle as well as the resin beads. By the end of the video, you'll know exactly how to do just that. So the first thing we're going to do is bypass the water to the water softener, which is done with this valve right here. Now this has not been touched in a long time, so it may take a little, a little pressure to get it going. I got it goosed, and that just pushes to the side. Now the water will, will uh, uh, not go into this tank at all. It runs through the piping, back through this T, and back through the other line without ever going through the water softener. So now we're safe to work on the water issues inside the water softener. The next thing we're going to do is remove the top of this and this lid lifts up and you know generally it falls off as you're taking it off so I just take it off and set it to the side anyway. And then the lid comes off, there's two snaps on the front and there's two snaps on the back and this just lifts right off. So this is the guts of the water softener controls and we are after this guy right here. So. We are going to remove this cap, and there's a, a series of O-rings and diaphragms and whatnot in there, and a screen that we're going to clean out. It's been a long time since I have done this to this unit, and I mean years. So you can see there's a little tooth in here that kind of aligns everything. You want to get it back together. That screen's pretty nasty. O-ring's got some debris on it. And then there's a little washer down there that you can't see. So I'm gonna pick that out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my diaphragm removing tool, which is a broken plastic fork here. You can use something small and thin. A uh, toothpick would work. Or you can be creative and go to Wendy's for lunch and pick up a fork. There's that. And there's a tiny screen here. And there's an O-ring here. And I'm going to need something smaller than this to get that O-ring. Okay, so I got a small nail. And there's that little screen. Well, that thing is tiny. Don't lose that. Tiny, right? Okay, let's set that aside. And now to get this washer out, I think I called this an O-ring before. It's not an O-ring, it's a washer. And there it is. And that goes in one way. I don't know if you can see that cross profile there, but the top has this tiny little lip on it. And that's all there is to this thing. So I'm going to go inside, wash this stuff out, and I will be right back. Okay, I've got my parts all cleaned. And I'm just going to reassemble in the reverse order. I've got that tiny little screen. That goes back if my big fat fingers will allow it. Yep. Uh, this washer is next now. Important note here, there's a concave side to this washer, and then there's a numbered side. The numbered side goes up, the concave side goes down. It goes back into that hole. After that is a diaphragm. You can see the tooth cut out for the diaphragm and the uh, hole that allows the pass through to the screen. Oh, come on. Of course it doesn't want to go in, right? Okay, now I didn't use that nail to uh, touch that diaphragm. I just want to use it to place that screen. Okay, so that looks good. You can see the pass-through is lined up. 
Next that goes in is the Venturi and the nozzle. This is actually the Venturi and the nozzle right there. Again, the tooth. Then the screen facing up and the screen retainer with the O-ring facing up. Now you could put some plumber's grease on that O-ring if you wanted to. Um, don't use Vaseline, Vaseline will eat it up. And then finally the cap goes on top. I don't want to crank this down, I just want to get it tight. Okay, good enough. After that, we turn the water back on. And we should be good to go. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is to use super iron out to clean the resin beads. And the resin beads are in this little cylinder right here. That's what's responsible for softening your water. They get inundated with nastiness and they need to be cleaned. Super Iron Out does gr a great work at that. So we're going to mix up a, a mixture of Super Iron Out and water and we're going to dump it right here. This is a brine well. Your water softener may or may not have a brine well. If it doesn't, you can dump it right in the in the tank, but just make sure that the salt level is low when you're going to do this. So I'm going to mix up a batch and we'll clean this thing. Okay, the directions say to use one cup of Iron Out and add it to one half gallon of cold water. And we're gonna mix it up. I'm sure that this stuff is not healthy to breathe. It's starting to fizz and foam. And I'm spilling it. and it smells. Okay, the fizzing and foaming have stopped. So let's get this in the brine well. And I'm gonna pour as best I can, there we go, right into that brine well, and then I'm gonna regenerate it have it hopefully start softening the water. There's a couple little granules left. I'm just going to dump it all in there and close the lid. Now on my softener, I've got a little button here that says recharge tonight or recharge now. So that says recharge tonight, but if I press it again and hold, there it goes. Okay couple hours this thing will be done and hopefully the water will be soft. Hopefully that video helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope it helped. Have a great day. See you next time.